Good morning. We are having our breakfast. Good morning. Hi, crew. I'm making a protein shake. I just got this. Oh my gosh, it's so good. This is my third day in a row having it for breakfast, but it's so good. It's only 140 calories, and it's got like a ton of protein and vitamins in it. This is from Plexus, the lean milk chocolate shake. So I have that. Uh oh, did you drop one? And then I'm gonna do a banana. And I've been doing the regular like white milk Fair Life in it, but we're out of that today. So I'm gonna try it with the chocolate milk, which I know is gonna be really good. And then I add a little ice too. on the floor but anyways the boys are napping it's Monday morning um, I've, I've been wanting to do a weekend vlog and I just like we haven't done that much over the weekends so this weekend I'm gonna vlog because I feel like David has not been in my vlogs in so long um, but today's vlog I'm actually gonna do a nighttime routine because I wanted to give you guys an update and I've gotten so many questions on Instagram and so I figured I would just do a nighttime routine so you can kind of see but I don't, I don't think that like anything that I'm doing specifically is making him sleep through the night. I think he's just like gotten to a point or an age where he's ready to sleep through the night. But basically the past at least week now, he has slept through the night, but not only that, but he's sleeping like 12 hours at least. So he goes down around 6.30 and doesn't wake up until 6.30 or 7 a.m. And then even on the weekends, he didn't wake up until 8.30 and nine so it's been amazing like i've gotten so much more sleep i feel so much more refreshed and energized and it's so nice and in fact now he's been napping for at least an hour which didn't used to happen so i'm going to run through my kind of nighttime routine what i do with him so if you are curious about kind of i don't know some tips on how he's sleeping through the night then Stay tuned for the end of this video when I show you guys what we do. Um, but it's just a gross rainy day and I didn't feel like going to the gym because I didn't want to get out in the rain. We do, however, have to go pick up our groceries. We do that every Monday. I feel like I vlog a lot on Mondays and it's like the same routine. Gym, grocery pickup, nap time. So that's pretty much our day. I am trying a little bit to potty train Cal. I'm not... I'm still like not sure that he's fully ready, but I did kind of start just because he's like refusing to wear his diaper a lot. So when he refuses to wear his diaper, I just tell him like, okay, then you have to go potty um, on the toilet. So that's what we did this morning. And every time I took him to the toilet, he would just sit there and then he'd say, it's not working. So he still has not yet in his two and a half years of life gone potty on the potty yet. So we'll see so he's in a di back in his diaper now since he's taking his nap but I don't know I just don't think he's ready yet Wait, so remember last week how I said I was gonna prep my own snack kits these are them so I just did four these are this is what I ordered off Amazon these are way too big um, actually one of you guys sent me some like a link to some that were smaller so I would definitely recommend getting smaller ones but since I have 10 of these <laughs> I'm gonna have to use them um, but yeah so I just made four little trays this one is pretzels carrots cheese cubes and blueberries and then I put ranch and then I'm just going to put them like this and then just stack them up in the fridge so like anytime Cal or myself need like a good snack then we've got like some fresh stuff all right I just got my Grove order in got this month but I thought it would be fun to show you guys so I got the replacements I have this little thing I love this um, for dishes but the best part about this brush is this like piece right here because you can like scrub stuff off so I even have used it like on my counter if there's like food stuck to it 
So I use this all the time. So I just got some new brush heads. These ones, which are like the walnut scrubber ones. And then I also got these fluffy ones. And then I got this. This brand I really like. I have their um, linen spray. So this is the Caldria Lavender Cedar Leaf Countertop Spray. I've not tried the countertop spray yet, but I really like their linen spray. So I thought I'd give it a try. Oh, it smells so good. It's like so fresh smelling. And then I think this is a new scent by Mrs. Myers called Rainwater. So I wanted to try this. I thought it would be good for spraying. This is the hand soap. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So that's all I got this month. I don't get like a ton of stuff from there every month, just like the bare necessities, but I do really like it. And if you guys haven't tried it, I do have a um, referral link. So I'll put that down below too. So it's 5.10 and crew is napping right now. And I try not to let him nap past five o'clock. Um, and it was like 4.30 and I could tell he was just like so needed a nap. He was like crying and crying and nothing would soothe him and he had been fed and changed so I knew he was tired. So I put him down for a nap but now that it's 5.10 and I'm done, I was doing laundry. So now that I'm done with my laundry, I'm gonna go ahead and wake him up and keep him awake because I don't want him to not be able to sleep. Alexa, stop. Hi, honey. I know. I know. You're sleeping. But we're g I know. We're going to wake up so that way you can sleep because we're going to go to bed again in about 45 minutes. I know. So, yeah, I don't recommend waking a baby or a toddler unless it is like within one hour of their bedtime. Otherwise, I always let them sleep. But since it's like. 5.15 and I start his nighttime routine at like 5.45. I was like, okay, we better get him up. So he's gonna stay up and we're gonna try to keep you super alert and happy. <laughs> happy? Stop it. We'll keep you happy. Yeah, and then you can go back to bed. Okay. All right guys, it's 5.40 and I'm officially gonna start the nighttime routine. So first thing I'm gonna do is get the bath ready for crew. tricky um, since we do put him to bed pretty early David's not home until usually between 6 and 6 30 so I have to usually do this part by myself so I try to get Cal as much as he needs like before I go and feed crew so right now I just heated him up 
some pizza for dinner and we've got some applesauce and I'm gonna set him up with his iPad because he needs to be entertained, um, which actually a lot of times he ends up coming into the room anyways and it makes it a lot harder for me to put crew to sleep. But we'll see what he does tonight. You were slowly fading in my mind When you left I was so completely gone But now I'm sure You were some of the best of things to find the um, overnight diapers for crew so he's um, he's five months old and this is size three target brand overnight diapers I really like them I feel like they help with leaks um, that way since he's gonna be sleeping for like 12 hours he's really got a lot of good leak protection and then I'm gonna use the Aveeno baby lavender scented lotion you take all your clothes off one minor issue <laughs> Cal is standing back. behind me I'll go back. with his clothes off, well his bottoms off and his um, diaper off because I told him he, he usually has bath time right after I'm done putting crew down and sometimes back, he gets too excited and jumps the gun so I'll back. you will get a bath honey but right now I gotta put your brother to bed remember? Okay? Okay. Okay. I'll just pee on the floor. That matters to me makes me wonder why I can't get over. So now I'm putting on the magic sleep suit. This is what he sleeps in for the most part. I do use the Zen sleep sack if this is dirty, but this is really my favorite thing. find it hard to not give in. So that's what it looks like and crew is in the size six to nine months. Minor break while I clean up some pee. You don't like dinner time? No. This is the hardest part guys. This is the hardest I don't part. like it. Will you go sit and have your dinner while I put your brother to bed? No. And then you get your bath. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Otherwise you can't have your bath. No. Alexa, play white noise. a little bit um but i usually just kind of i just shut the door and he will maybe fuss for less than like two minutes and then he's done um and it's 6 34 so it definitely takes a while and i think that that's kind of the key to it is that it takes him a, like he really feeds for a long time about 
15 minutes on each side and I think that he's getting like a really good full feeding. Um, I put him in his crib. He does have a small little baby pillow behind his head. I don't know if that really makes a difference, um, but we have that. And then I also give him a pacifier, which he doesn't really suck on it, but I just give it to him just in case. We've got applesauce on the floor, a diaper on the floor. This is the hardest part, it's just trying to keep him occupied while I take care of him before David gets home. Are you ready for bath time? Yeah. Okay, let's go do bath. It's do bath. And typically, um, I would have David do his bath and then I would start cooking dinner right about now, but since I knew I was gonna film this video, I didn't wanna have to have the stress of also cooking dinner tonight. So David's actually picking up Taco Bell for us tonight. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start Cal's bath. That way I can film it and you guys can kind of see what we do. I've got a surprise for you. Are you excited? I just ordered these on Amazon. I hope they work. They're like little fish that are supposed to light up. Let's see. just had his bath David's home so David usually kind of takes over from here with Cal they usually like play together and stay up for mm, maybe another 30 minutes now and then we'll put Cal to bed If you guys are curious what I get from Taco Bell to fit in my macros, I get the Power Veggie Bowl, which is really good, and then two uh, shredded chicken soft tacos. And it's right about 800 calories for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog slash nighttime routine. I'm sorry this wasn't like a fancy nighttime routine with like a pretty voiceover and everything like that, but this is reality and sometimes your toddler is going to pee on the floor in the middle of your nighttime routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are just now finding my channel and you're new here, I would love it. If you subscribed, I do videos every single week, vlogs, mommy videos, hauls, home decor videos, all kinds of things, honestly. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. So I stole